Hello my young friends I am Dr Bhavi and welcome to Read Aloud Learning Hub In this nature adventure video we are going to learn all about the moon and its many phases The moon is like a special friend in the sky and it changes its appearance throughout the month Before we dive in remember to check out the description box below where you can download our fun moon phases quiz and exciting worksheets these free resources will help reinforce what you learn in this video and make the experience even more engaging and interactive simply click the link in the description box to access them now let's embark on our cosmic adventure from the new moon to all the way to the brilliant full moon we will explore the moon's captivating journey throughout the night sky so gather around and let's learn together but first let's learn some new vocabulary words that will help you understand the moon phases better number 1 waxing waxing means increasing waxing refers to the process of the moon's lit up portion increasing in size when the moon is waxing it's growing from a crescent to a full moon and it appears to be getting bigger in the night sky waning waning is the opposite of waxing meaning decreasing it describes the process of the moon's illuminated portion decreasing in size during the waning phase the moon appears to be getting smaller The next word is gibbous. Gibbous means bulging or rounded. Gibbous is a term used to describe the moon when it is more than half but not completely full. Next word invisible. Invisible means something that cannot be seen. And the last word is crescent. Crescent means a shape that looks like a curved banana now let's go on to the moon phases dear children you see the moon doesn't have its own light it reflects the sun's light the first phase is the new moon this is when the moon is completely dark and not visible in the night sky when the moon is directly between us and the sun the part facing us does not receive sunlight and we cannot see the moon this situation is known as the new moon it's like moon taking a nap next we have the crescent moon it is also called the waxing crescent moon imagine a thin curved banana in the sky that's what the waxing crescent moon looks like It's just a tiny sliver of light. The next phase is the first quarter moon, also called half moon. This is when half of the moon is lit up and half is in shadow or appears dark. It's like a half moon smile. After that, there is the waxing gibbous moon. This moon is more than half lit. but not quite full it's like the moon is growing and getting bigger each night then we have the full moon this is when the whole moon is brightly shining in the night sky the full moon phases when the whole face of the moon is lighted up for all to see due to the fact that the sun and moon are on opposite sides of the earth it's like a big round cheese in the sky now as the days pass we move into the waning gibbous moon this moon is still more than half lit but it is starting to get smaller like it's on a diet during this phase the sun begins to move behind the moon then we reach the phase known as third quarter moon This is when the other half of the moon is lit up 
and the first half is in shadow. It's like a half moon frog. The next phase is called the waning crescent. This phase is when the moon returns to being an illuminated crescent shape and it is the final phase before it enters the new moon period. And then it goes back to the new moon and the cycle starts all over again. The moon appears to change its shape as it moves around the earth. This is because of its orbit or its journey around our planet. So dear children, when you look up at the night sky, you can see these different phases of the moon. It's like a cosmic clock, always changing. It's pretty cool, right? Keep looking and exploring the wonders of the universe. There is so much to discover. Bye for now and see you next time.